What's up everyone, I'm Ross, I'm a data scientist, and we're gonna find out why Einstein would be a fan of Luna if he were alive today. We'll look at how they use the word universe and maybe uncover a secret in their lyrics. And we'll do some machine learning to find out what the computer thinks is the happiest and saddest song by Luna. Before we start with the metaphysical stuff, let's just start simple with the amount of English each member uses. We see that Chu and Jinso get the most English lyrics, while Hase and Yojin get the least. Alright, and now let's talk a little bit about why Einstein would have been a fan of Luna. Well, apart from the obvious reasons, he also would have liked Luna due to their lyrics. So what do Luna and the theory of relativity have in common? Let's start with Luna and their song Sonatine, and in the beginning of the song and the chorus it goes And this means that time is covered or hidden by uh, a secret that can't be known. So there's a secret that can't be known that hides time. Einstein says that the dividing line between the past, present, and future is an illusion. Or in other words, we can't really understand time, and like Luna said, it is covered by a secret that can't be known. Pretty cool, right? And Luna actually makes a lot of metaphysical references. In 50% of their songs, they make a reference to the word Shigan, which means time in Korean. But not only that, they make some other cool time references as well. Alright, so while we're talking about time, I think it might be a good time to talk about the universe as well, because I found this part actually really interesting. In Korean, the word for universe is uju, and it gets mentioned in five different songs. And the order in which it gets mentioned is very important, so let's start with the first time it gets used. I'm gonna give you guys the literal translation of the lyrics because I think it's actually really important in this situation. And the first time the word for universe gets used is in the song Sonatine, and the lyrics go Duri manna hane ujugade. And that means like we meet and one universe is formed. In the next song, Rain 51, the lyrics go Ne ane kaduka non nae ujuya. And that means literally inside me which is full of you is my universe and now things get interesting because this next song starlight was released about five months after the first two and the lyrics go and that means like inside this jet black universe we've been scattered and the word scattered actually gives a lot of like it gives a good hint as to what happened because when things get scattered, it means they were originally together, but now they've been, like, spread apart. And in the song before this, Rain 51, we saw that I was full of you, and you were my universe, but now they've been scattered. In the next two songs, we'll find out what happens. Alright, and the next song is by Gowon, and it's one and only, and she says, Ah, 우주 속에서 내가 나를 만난 건 우연히 아닐 거야. And that means like, ah, inside this universe, meeting myself is not a coincidence. Alright, and now in the last song, the lyrics go, That is so hard to say, wow. And that means like, in the countless stars of the universe, or inside the countless stars of the universe, you meeting me is probably not a coincidence. Uh, it's destiny, or it's probably destiny. So, I don't know about you, but this raises some questions. So the first question I have is in the first song, are they talking about the Big Bang? I, I, I maybe. And in One and Only, Go One is talking about, earlier in the song, she talks about seeing her reflection in the mirror, and it's like a new reflection kind of thing. And then later she says, Nega narul mana, which means like, I meet myself. So I think she's kind of talking about meeting her reflection kind of personality or consciousness. Because in the fifth song, Egotist, Jin Sol says, You are me and I am you. And then she says that on and on in this endless cycle, we can't fall apart. And if Jin Sol was 
her reflection, then that statement would kind of make sense. So I have formed a hypothesis, a theory that they are talking about themselves, but they're talking about their reflection. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, your reflection is actually your past because it's not the present. It's like a, a fraction of a fraction of a second behind. So it kind of represents your history. And in the last song, Egotist, they talk about, I'll love myself instead of you, I'll live on. Let go of you today, love myself today, let go of you today, love myself today. So they're kind of just like letting go of their past self or their reflection. And to test my hypothesis, I am going to make a prediction that in the next song that uses the word uju or universe, they're also going to use the word or the verb ichida, which means to shine or reflect. And they'll talk about meeting someone, whether it's themselves or maybe even like a, a reflection or something. Not sure yet, but we'll find out. Another theme that is common in Luna's lyrics is new opportunities. So in a lot of their songs, they talk about new world or maybe a new days or season or opportunity. And the next cool theme for Luna is dreams. And in over 50% of their songs, they talk about dreams. Now it's time for the computer to do some work and we'll do some machine learning. So let's see how the computer rated all of Luna's music in terms of happy songs and sad songs. Overall, the computer did a pretty good job of ranking the songs, and the happiest song is One and Only by Gowon, and it's a pretty happy song. They even have the lyrics that even the darkness feels bright, which is a pretty positive message. The songs Heart Attack and Seesaw overall seem to have a net zero polarity, so they're not overall negative or positive songs. And the saddest song, according to the computer, is Valentine Girl by the one-third group of Luna. And it's a pretty funny song, actually, about like a girl hoping that things will get better between her and a boy, and she wants to like give him chocolate and stuff, but it's kind of awkward. So overall, I think Luna has by far the most interesting themes that go throughout their music, and I think those themes go way deeper than I may have gone. So I think I'm only scratching the surface, but if you liked what you saw, if you have any comments or questions or maybe other themes to check out or other things in their lyrics to look for, let me know. I'm definitely interested. Until next time, thank you.